Hello and welcome to the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Big Larry. So for string length, there are uh, two main ways you can play. Uh, there's one way called the short game, which is not what I'm going to go over uh, on this channel or in this video. And then there's the long game. Um, so for the long game, the string length you want to have is roughly the distance between the tip of your index finger and the tip of your pinky finger with your fingers stretched out like this. So as you can see with my set here, if I can balance them, it's roughly that length. I can't quite hold the beat right there. There we go. See? And you can, it could be a little shorter or a little longer than this, obviously, because some people may have more flexible fingers or longer fingers or thicker fingers, right? So that's just a general guideline. So now I'm going to talk about some grips that we use in Big Larry Manipulation. Um, there are many different names for these grips, and sometimes they're interchangeable. So the grips, the names I'm going to use in this video um, are just for ease of use of talking about what I am doing and how to teach it. So to start out, we have the high grip. The high grip is when you hold the bead between your thumb and palm. And you can also hold it up here between your thumb and index or thumb and index and middle like that. So this is the high grip. Anytime you're using your thumb to pinch the bead in this way. So next we have the standard grip. Standard grip is you're holding the bead between your index and middle finger, like so. And now we have the mid grip. The mid grip is held between the middle and ring finger. And lastly, we have the low grip, which is held between their ring and pinky finger. So now that we know our string length and the names of our basic grips, we're now going to go into the basic elements of flow. And what I mean about the basic elements of flow are these are things that you're going to be doing to move the bead through the grips and continue motion throughout each grip. These are technically tricks, but these are what you're going to be doing in between harder tricks to keep your flow going. So to start out, we're going to start in the uh, standard grip here, holding the bead normally. And what you're going to do is perform a two finger wrap. So the two finger wrap is actually the first Big Larry trick I ever learned. Um, and I kind of figured it out just by uh, messing around at work one day. I hadn't watched any tutorials and I said, you know, what do you do with these things? So I held it like this and I wrapped it around my finger like that. So it, there is a combined wrist movement, twisting your wrist and a little bit of a shake of the hand. So. You're going to want to tuck all the fingers in except for the two fingers of the standard grip and move your hand and shake, move your, turn your wrist and shake your hand at the same time. And this is your basic two finger wrap. So the next element of flow I'm going to talk about is the rebounds. Rebounds are when you change the momentum of the bead by either uh, hitting the bead off of your hand which hurts and I advise you not to do, uh, or by kind of catching the tension of the string below where it's going to hit and kind of smacking it backwards. Uh, so to be more explicit, you can see up in high grip here, your basic rebound is to move the bead by turning your wrist like the same motion of the two finger wrap in standard grip. Um, but without that handshake, or maybe you can even do the handshake. Now you see, you hear that smack, that's my bone being hit by the bead. That kind of hurts. So rebounds are one of the more rare elements of flow, so to speak. Um, you're going to do them less than your two finger wraps. So now to build off of those two ideas, we have our two finger wrap 
and now we can add a rebound in by on the upward swing of the of the bead here in standard grip as you're swinging the bead upward you can stick your thumb out to catch the middle of the string and rebound it down like so all right so we're doing two different things we're doing the two finger wrap with a rebound thrown in there and now we're going to introduce another element of flow called slips so as the bead is between either a rebound or the end of a two finger wrap right as it's swinging in its arc what you're going to want to do is tuck your fingers in to allow the string to slip past your fingers and that's called a slip and that's going to feel natural or should feel natural to add into this flow here and now you have your basic little repeating combo I've had a lot of people tell me that slips are difficult to perform and I can't see why they're difficult uh, without video evidence so if you're having trouble with slips, definitely film yourself and send me a video and I'll take a look at it and try to help you. But uh, without seeing it, I'm going to say that most people probably are having trouble because they're holding the bead down here. So if you try to do slips down here, it's going to kind of catch up on your hand. So it's a good, a good habit to get into to try to hold the bead in your grips between the upper joints of your finger. So now that you can do slips, two finger wraps, and rebounds when necessary, we're going to talk about the very basic, the, very, the most basic way of transferring through grips. So in order to do that, we're going to start in high grip. We're going to do a rebound or two. And as the bead is coming toward your palm, you're going to take your thumb and open your index finger so there's a gap between your index and middle finger and you're going to roll the bead into position for standard grip as well as trying to kind of move your hand in a, in a way that will hook your index finger around the string so like so and you land in a standard grip. So that is the, uh, the most basic way to transfer between grips. And the way to transfer back is to pull the bead back and let the string hook out of your index, out of that standard grip. The same technique applies when going down to mid grip, where instead of opening your index finger up, and pushing the bead down. You're going to open your middle finger and push the bead in this direction to hook the bead into your mid grip. And just like standard grip, it's good to hold it's good to have it to get into to hold the bead between the upper joints of the fingers. But it will take a little bit of time before you can easily move the bead into that area of the grip. And then lastly, the same principle applies to going down all the way to low grip. It's going to take a little bit of time to be able to move the bead all the way down your palm like this. But it also helps to kind of curl your fingers up. So now you open up your pinky. And then slide the bead into that low grip. So just to briefly go over, you can also do two finger wraps in mid grip. Uh, what you want to do is hold the bead in those upper joints, of the upper, upper joints of your finger, tuck your index and pinky finger in, and do your slips and wraps. And you can also add a rebound, 
like so. And now what's nice about mid grip is you can rebound in both directions by sticking your finger into the, or using your thumb to, to bounce off the middle of the string. And it's, uh, it's okay if the beads clack together. It's better to hit the beads together than to, the bead to hit your hand. <laughs> so that's a little flow you can do in mid grip. And then when you go down to low grip, you can also tuck your index and middle fingers in and perform a two finger wrap, as well as just doing rebounds with slips in between. So to quickly go over how to transfer between uh, grips, it's the same concept as rolling the bead from high grip into the grip, but you're going to quickly go back out to high grip Right? I'll show you from standard to mid. You're going to quickly pop the bead out and sort of hold it in place as you rebound off kind of a modified high grip back down into the new grip. So to put that all together and to give you guys an exercise to practice um, to get used to flowing with a big Larry in the way of the long game play. I'm going to have you start in high grip, do a couple rebounds, transfer into standard grip, do two finger wrap going downward, and then as you swing the beads up toward you, you're going to rebound off your thumb, like so. After you do this a couple times, you're going to transfer from standard to mid grip and do the same style of uh, back and forth where you go wrap down, rebound off the top. And then to low grip, here you're just going to slip with rebounds in between. And now you can see the bead is coming over the top like this. So what you can do, it also comes over the top like this. You can catch it back coming up and close, right? So this is technically a finisher, is when you grab the bead. Or you can grab it You can grab it coming up like this, let go, and now you're back in high grip and you can start over. So uh, this is actually the second beginner tutorial I've made. And uh, if you're interested, I have made another one that was less uh, thought out and goes over a little bit less, but maybe uh, it goes over slips, rebounds, and grip transfers, uh, and you might be, find some help in that video that you didn't find here. I also have an, a uh, tutorial called, well, it's a second big, beginner tutorial where I go over just two finger wraps. Uh, I made those videos a long time ago, and I'm not happy with the quality of them, so I've decided to redo it with this video, where I go over string length, grip names, the elements of flow, and then a basic combo. Uh, with that, if you guys have any questions or um, would like me to help you specifically with any tricks, please leave a comment or send me a video and I will take a look. And uh, with that, happy practicing and I hope this helps and see you later. <laughs>